Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, I'm gonna be giving y'all a list on what I feel like that is needed to keep Rumbleverse alive. And low key a wish list, cause come on, you know the stuff. Obviously, I'm saying is a little bit what I want to see, but also I do feel like it generally needs to be in the game for the game to last long, and be popular at the same time. If you understand what I'm saying, and let's get straight into the video, guys. Now, the first thing first, Rumbleverse needs something that catches viewers' attention, whether it's streamers, you know, getting into their game actively at the beginning, or a better trailer i am not gonna lie to you guys when i first saw the rumble trailer it that's not even what got me into it it was more of people that i knew like word for, word for mouth that were wanting to try the game i was like you know what i love trying new games and betas let's see what this is about but when i saw the trailer it may be appealing i guess for younger ages because of how it looks cartoonish like fortnite and stuff and knockout city but it was very uh not eye-catching you know it's it's one of its own kind, a fighting battle royale, well second Naraka, but still, it, it's its own like kind of like pro wrestling actually, not even really fighting pro wrestling, and it just gives a different feel. And this is a game where you have to actually give it a shot and try it to see if you actually going to enjoy. It. You can't just look at it and be like, oh, this is gonna be a fun game. Oh, this is gonna be cool. At least from my experience from looking at it, it wasn't. But playing it gave me a whole different experience. So I feel like they need to get something catchy or something that's going to make people want to play. Or like some, yeah, something catchy that, that's word from mouth that pe that makes one of people try this game actually. Even though the game will be free to play and cross play. I don't know man. This this is something that's different than you know your normal game. You know people usually click to shooters and all these type of other games. A fighting battle royale. May not click to everybody, especially people that don't give fighting games a chance, but let's see how that goes. Um, number two, I feel like the the what the one thing they need to hop on right away is great fighting collabs, whether it's you know like the skins from like certain games and stuff, you know, that that'd be the best like 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 WWE, you know, SmackDown versus Raw. You know, from other fighting games, I don't know too much, but I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not the name anime games because that's all I already know, like Naruto. Um, I'm just gonna put like a list of like fighting games. Sorry, I'm not the biggest fighting game guys, but I think that's the one of the greatest thing they need to do is literally go on fighting collabs on skins. I think that'll catch the most attention to all that makes people want to play the game even more, especially like wrestling fans and etc. That would definitely help out the game. Number three, I know this is a battle royale. But they should really look into this and it will have to be a 2v3, a 2v2, 3v3 and a 4v4 mode. Just like how Apex does with this 3v3 arena. I think this would open up the door for some people that like the game but don't enjoy the battle royale side of the game, you know. I feel like a like a like a general 2v2, 3v3, 5v5 with the same gaming mechanics, but just like in a smaller map. Or like in a yeah, like a smaller map, and you pretty much fight like S and what did I say S and D elimination pretty much, or a respawn type of game mode when you hit like a certain number, like 20 kills or 15 elimination, etc. Like that. I think that would be good because that would open the doors for even more players that want to give the game a chance. You know, even if they're not interested into the battle royale side, they have that side, and if they're not interested to that side, they have the battle royale side. You know, it gives people more options into into these type of games, and you know, open more doors to players that want different things you know and then going on to our fourth topic not a lot of people is going to agree with me with this uh, they, they, they 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 these people really hate this in video games but esports now again game's brand new real fresh has never been done before like i said pro wrestling in a battle royale but this is something i think they should look in down the line maybe two to three four to five months down the line because if no matter how bad you dislike esports and stuff people are gonna get better people are gonna be better than others and then that's where you need to separate the two parties a little bit because the lower party that plays the game casually and more fun with their friends aren't really gonna have a fun time playing against these sweats and that so having an esports or you know down the line having that is one gonna separate those so people you know like casual and stuff don't 
get irritating and be like, oh my god, everyone's so sweaty in this game, this game is not fun anymore. Two, people love esports, man. Like, I, I don't know if y'all live in Unleaf Only for Rock, but most games that thrive and that's successful has an esports side because people love to see that high level skill gameplay in any game. It doesn't matter what it is. Look at look at all the games that has esports. Even Rocket League, a game that's about a car hitting a soccer ball has esports and it has been blowing up ever since. Like I said, some people might be thinking, no, this just need to be a fun game, I'll leave it as a fun game. If that's the case and that's what the people want, this game will not last. And I can tell you that from experience from a lot of games, games that just don't have a competitive side just drops because it really drops like the point of like grinding the game and playing it. Like I said, people will have fun whether esports is there or not, but for how long, you know? But moving on from esports, you know, something a little more light and cool and fun will be custom lobbies. I hope, I really hope to have this within the day release or the first week after the early release because if you don't know the game is dropping on the 8th early access and then the game is going to be fully out on the 15th of February. So I think having custom lobbies between that time or that time release will be an amazing feature for the game especially for content creators and streamers that want to play with like just their fans and supporters or against each other you know having 40 streamers go at each other just fighting in, in a discord call and just having a good time great content great you know entertainment for people that want to watch and stuff and have custom settings you know be, be able to super super jump low gravity super speed all these stuff will be an amazing feature into the game and yeah moving on to the next one will be rank mode like again we need something that separates the sweats from the casuals and it's not even about um, separating the sweats from the casuals like I said after a while when you play something it kind of just dies if there's not a rank mode in it I give you an example blood hunt blood hunt didn't fully release but it had a beta and the game was fun at, at, at the moment once you really just kept on loading in and winning and etc or just losing it just like dwelled down over time you know what i mean like because there was nothing to grind for at least for rank even though it's like imaginary numbers as people say you know it doesn't really matter but it's still fun to climb something you know people want to grind for something no matter if they're casual or if they're competitive they want something to go for when you just play pubs over time it does get boring you know when you're just doing that it, it it's really just boring so hopefully, you know, they have a rank mode off rip. You could kind of see it in their mode. Like they have these little trophy looking things, but we don't know if that's just levels or ranks. But, you know, we will get more information, I guess, when the game is coming close to release or when the game releases. Moving on is we need leaderboards. You know, I think people would love to see, you know, who has the most kills, the most suplexes, that all those stats that they showed um, in the day one beta that everyone played in or hopefully played in. I hope that they have an actual leaderboard that shows like maybe the top 1,000, top 500. You know, it's just something that's cool. And also shows your own stats and against your friends, obviously. And then same thing in that category with leaderboards, personal stats. Like I said, just to see how many games you play, how many games you've won, in solos, duels, etc., eliminations, knockout, how much damage you've done. You know, all that stuff is fun and people love to see and love to see what they're doing against their friends and others in the world and all that stuff, man. And I hope... Rumbleverse is a game that stays alive because it is very different and going to be very unique, you know. No one has ever done a fighting battle royale, like I said, Naraka, but sorry, pro wrestling. There we go. Let's we'll stick with that word, pro wrestling. And like I said, this is also like a little bit of a wish list too because even though I do feel like these are the things that they do need to um, keep the game alive and continuing and not just like a game people play for one week and then it just drops dead. But also, but also what I genuinely feel like what the game needs to stay alive, you know? Even though I did enjoy the, the playtest, you know? I just, like, I was satisfied. 1000% I was satisfied playing the playtest. But if you really like genuinely think about like these games and what makes games last long and stuff, just queuing up into solos or duos in that game, having what a battle pass and then that's it, that's not gonna sell. That's not really gonna keep players contained for a long time. Yes, you have the dedicated players that will stay to it, stick to it because they wanted something new, something fresh, and they're tired of whatever old game they're playing, but to keep a big community in the game. They gotta do stuff like this. They, they gotta hit a couple of these points. Obviously not all of them, 
but a decent amount of these points to keep people active and wanting to play the game more and more but that's pretty much it um for the video guys that is my needed slash wish list for rumbleverse to stay alive leave a like if you like the video comment about anything comment what you think the game needs or needs to you know need to stay alive or just your wish list you know i love you know talking back to y'all and commenting y'all um on new games that are coming out can't wait for it and also is your first time ever watching one of my videos don't forget to subscribe button guys and i'm out peace